some time now. Uh, he has defended it for the last five years. It's Chok Chai 3K Battery versus Manny Pacquiao. And what an outstanding record. Both these fighters have oh, Ed yeah. Chok Chai, 35 and 2 with 15 knockouts. And Manny Pacquiao also with an outstanding record of uh, 19 and 1 with 11 knockouts. Both boxers in white, although the Filipino player or boxer, uh, Manny Pacquiao, has the red stripe on the side of his trunks. Playing with the uh, southpaw stands, Manny Pacquiao of the Philippines. Chok Chai, the veteran of the two, he's 29 years old, and Manny Pacquiao, 20 years old, and Chok Chai has demolished a vast majority of his Filipino opponents. He has lost only twice in his long and colorful career. He's ranked number five by the World Boxing Council in the flyweight division. Brad Pacquiao leading with his right jab. So far, top tie 3K battery has been content with sizing up his opponent. We haven't seen too much offense uh, from either fighter at this yeah. stage. Now, Pacquiao, he's the southpaw. He leads off with his right hand. He's got a lethal left hand. We know that he can punch. And Chok Chai Battery also has an outstanding knockout reputation. Well, he's had 15 out of 35, and he has held the OPBF flyweight title for the past five years. That certainly speaks very well of his boxing abilities. There's Chok Chai attacking the midsection of uh, Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao, the ring sensation here in the Philippines. He has lost only once in his career, and that was by a knockout to Rustico Caracampo a few years back. This is going to be the acid test for Manny Pacquiao. Uh -huh. A lot of his critics have said that he has been fed a lot of patsy opponents. But this time, he's up against the real test. Chok Chai 3K Battery of Thailand. Manny Pacquiao has won his last seven fights by knockout, and that certainly is nothing to sneeze at. Well, you also notice that uh, the right hand of Manny Pacquiao dangling along his sides, it's not really up there to protect his jaw, and he could be vulnerable for a left hook coming from uh, Chok Chai Battery. Well, Chok Chai Battery acknowledging that punch by Manny Pacquiao. Chok Chai, a very dangerous fighter. He's got those short chopping rights and lefts. Watch out for those punches, and Manny Pacquiao is scoring with a left lead. Last 10 seconds of the first round, signaled here. Hopefully we have flyweight championship between Chok Chai 3K Battery of Thailand and Manny Pacquiao of the Philippines on Asia Thailand. All of them inside the distance now Chok Chai Battery, as we mentioned, has demolished practically all of his Filipino opponents except one, Lejon Seneza, whom he lost to on points, but he was able to reverse that in a rematch against Seneza. Second round of the scheduled 12-rounder for the OPBF Flyweight Championship. 
There's Manny Pacquiao leading off with his right. He is fighting in the southpaw stance. A left by Pacquiao to the face of Chok Chai. You know, one thing about Manny Pacquiao is that he puts his guard so dangerously low yes. and he's wide open for the counter attack of Chok Chai battery, but here he is on the attack. He's got to be a little more careful in going towards Chok Chai battery, who is a very dangerous fighter. Well, you know that uh, Chok Chai CK battery comes in with a very formidable record and reputation, but Manny Pacquiao seemingly paying it no mind. He's just playing his game, but as you said, he can be vulnerable to that left by uh, Chok Chai 3K battery, and that loss, that, uh, that lone loss of Manny Pacquiao atop the ring, uh, many observers uh, attest that uh, it was a case of carelessness on the part of Manny Pacquiao. That's true. We cover that fight for television, uh, Ed, and uh, I remember that fight ended in the third round. In the second round, Manny Pacquiao almost had his opponent down on the canvas and out for good, but uh, let him off the hook. In the third round, Pacquiao got careless and he was knocked out. Right now, uh, 3K battery or Chok Chai 3K battery has been playing a wait and see fight. And he's not at all bothered by the fact that uh, Manny Pacquiao is getting a lot of cheers on every punch that he's thrown, whether it's solid or not. Well, you notice that uh, Chok Chai is not initiating the action at all. He's waiting for counter punch. Uh -huh. He's waiting for the open, and he's waiting for Pacquiao to come in. And Pacquiao obliges. He comes straight in. Chok Chai PK battery. Oh, I get that. Pacquiao throwing a lot of punches. Nothing solid, however, landing. I haven't seen Chok Chai Finch or Grimace yet. Now Chok Chai is on the attack and he's concentrating on the midsection. All right, last few seconds of round number two. Scheduled 12 rounder for the OPBF Flyway Championship. Now Chok Chai is a very poised fighter. He knows what he's doing inside that ring and he's being very methodical about it. Take a look at some numbers here on Chok Chai 3K Battery, 29 years old, a sterling record at 35 and 2 oh, yes. with 15 KOs. Well, Badi Pacquiao was certainly the more active uh, fighter in round number two, but as you said, Chok Chai 3K Battery has kept his composure and has not been daunted by the swarming attack that you see here unleashed by Manny Pacquiao and Chok Chai 3K battery just content with trying to dodge the punches being thrown by Manny Pacquiao. But as you said, he has not flinched and Chok Chai 3K battery right there, he got hit by several blows but he was able to hang on. Now we haven't seen too much offense from Chok Chai. We expect to see some fireworks now from the Thailander here in round number three. He is behind on points. Well, we've got a long way to go. Yes. At least we think so. <laughs> <laughs> this is still the early going. Uh, Chok Chai 3K battery now uh, taking a different stance from what he did and what he had in the first two rounds. Now yeah. he's getting aggressive. Yes. Uh, you can expect it. I think uh, Chok Chai needed those first two rounds to size up the style of uh, Manny Pacquiao. I think you can expect him now to take more chances in moving in on his prey. Manny Pacquiao, however, trying to be an elusive target. A good sidestepping here by yeah. Manny Pacquiao. Good lateral movement. Now you notice that uh, Chok Chai is a straight-up type of a fighter in the sense that he's just going one way. He's moving directly at Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao With landing combination. a combination from the outside. But Chok Chai 3K battery taking in a stalking stance now. But 
Manny Pacquiao doesn't look intimidated at all, but you can feel that the crowd here knows the sting of the punches that Chuck Chai could deliver. And a lot of them are waiting with bated breath for Chuck Chai 3K battery to finally display his uh, wanted boxing abilities. Manny Pacquiao making good use of the of the ring, Ed. Oh, good shot to the body. Both of them Pacquiao. exchanging hard blows up close. And more punches coming from Manny Pacquiao towards the midsection of Chok Chai. And Chok Chai holding on and Manny Pacquiao taking a slip. Fight goes on. This is round number three of a scheduled 12 rounder. Uh, more shots to the face being delivered by Manny Pacquiao. A good hand speed coming uh, from Manny Pacquiao's side. And you can say that again, can you know sometimes you can't even see the punches come and go and a blur, especially for Manny Pacquiao. He has been flicking those right jabs with a lot of consistency. And watch the way Manny Pacquiao circles around uh -huh. with Chok Chai, and that's to throw him off balance. Um, I guess he realizes that Chok Chai is a sort of fighter who will just go straight up towards you. And if you use angles to move away from Chok Chai, you're not going to give him a standing target. in the fight plan of Chok Chai 3K battery yet. I thought in round number three, Ed, he tried to put some offense together. Couldn't get the job done because I think Manny Pacquiao anticipated that Chok Chai was going to step up the pace. So he made good use of the ring moving around with Chok Chai and did not give Chok Chai the angles of the yes, You see some excerpts uh, from the uh, third round there where uh, Chuck Chai tried to get a bit more aggressive, but as you said, Kinito, Manny Pacquiao certainly kept him busy with all those, all those punches that Manny Pacquiao were throwing back in round number three. Well, Pacquiao used good lateral movement to move away from uh, Chuck Chai, making it difficult for Chuck Chai to find the angles to throw his straights and, and hooks. Chok Chai going to the body and now to the face. Manny Pacquiao countering Pacquiao with the right and the left. Now the dangerous thing here for Pacquiao is that he stands still and engages Chok Chai into some kind of toe-to-toe -to -toe fighting. Well, you know that uh, Chok Chai 3K battery packs a wallop in his punches. And you can Ooh, good right there by Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Pacquiao is now engaging Chuck Chai 3K battery in some, with a punching match. Well, this is a big gamble in his part. Yeah. As he's gaining in confidence here. Well, he has hit Chuck Chai several times. And now he tries to go in to finish it off. But Chuck Chai 3K battery just shrugs it off. Chai too wily a veteran. And again, Manny Pacquiao using the ring to move away from Chok Chai. That's the right thing to oh do. Yes, that's a smart thing to do. Well, he keeps, keeps uh, sticking that right jab, then follows up with the left. Low blow coming from Chok Chai and uh, referee Estrella telling Chok Chai to keep his blows above the belt. A miss by Chok Chai 3K battery, but he's up and about in a flash as Manny Pacquiao tried to move in that gap. Good right by Manny Pacquiao to the face of Chok Chai. Chok Chai trying to go to the body now. And a slip by Manny Pacquiao. You know, that's the second time we've seen that. Manny Pacquiao, if he finds himself in a precarious situation where he wants the referee to step in, he kneels down. Right. And that forces, of course, Chok Chai to stop punching. Clever tactic, but... Uh, 
you know. <laughs> Change of blows there between Pacquiao and Chok Chai. That right jab of uh, Manny Pacquiao has been finding the mark time and again. Uh, Chai Battery has certainly delivered some very strong messages to Manny Pacquiao and as far as the strength of his punches are concerned. Well, I thought he hurt Manny Pacquiao yeah. that time with a right, right to the ribs. Right. And uh, I don't think Manny Pacquiao can withstand relentless punching to the midsection for too much longer. Well, you see the muscles rippling around the body of uh, Chok Chai 3K battery. And, you know, that's a sign that the uh, telling blows from yeah. uh, Chok Chai 3K battery can certainly uh, inflict a lot of harm. We saw Manny Pacquiao wince and actually double up a little as soon as he got hit in the pit of his stomach. Take a look at some action here. You see Manny Pacquiao going, going down to prevent uh, Chok Chai from uh, throwing some punches from close range during a, during a clinch. Uh, you saw the birthplace of uh, Manny Pacquiao, General Santos City, where former champion, likely champion, Rolando Navarrete also hailed from. And he was known as a bad boy from the Triangas, which is the old name of General Santos City. It has produced uh, several more uh, famous Filipino boxers. And Manny Pacquiao keeping a steady pace with that right jab, peppering away at Chok Chai battery, keeping him off balance, preventing Chok Chai from moving in and attacking his midsection. Uh, Chok Chai 3K battery has shown to be the more deliberate fighter. And yeah, now goes to the bread basket of Manny Pacquiao again. That would land it in the el left elbow of Manny Pacquiao. Chok Chai throwing some bombs at Manny Pacquiao. He's starting to unload them, Girita. Yeah. And I think Manny Pacquiao is realizing that he can get hurt by the Oriental champion. He has held the championship since 1993, and he had to go to Korea to take the championship from Chang Jae Kwon via a third round knockout. Well, Chok Chai 3K battery has certainly uh, been able to hold on to that title. It's the numerous contenders. This last one, Manny Pacquiao is the number one OPGF challenger. And you see him trying to be a moving target, staying away from the bombs that uh, Chuck Chai 3K battery are, is capable of unleashing. But Manny Pacquiao who have to throw some more of his punches. Good left by Chuck Chai to the side of the face. And again, he goes to the body of Manny Pacquiao. Now, this is also going to be a test of stamina for Manny Pacquiao, whether he can uh, continue with his pace of moving around and both fighters wrestling each other down in the canvas. Pacquiao led off with the left that hit the face of uh, Chuck Chai, but that was obviously a slip. And Manny Pacquiao immediately goes to work with a right-left combination to the face of Chuck Chai. Good left and right by Manny Pacquiao. Oh, good left out. by Manny Pacquiao to the face. Caught him flash on the right side of the head. He's down, and I don't think he's going to get up.
prioritize VK battery down to the canvas. See that again. Another angle. That was that roll. That, that left set it up. Yes. That was the roll that snapped the head back of Chuck Chai's VK battery. Was 11 knockouts within the first three rounds. And the fifth knockout came in the fifth. Yes. And so, this is his eighth straight knockout. And as many fights, Manny Pacquiao. Now let's watch take a it look again. At this again. Wait, look out for that left, right there. It was just one punch, that solid left hand punch that caught Chok Chai battery smack on the face. Chuck Chai could not get up, and it's right there. You see that left to the face of Chuck Chai's 3K battery here. He is certainly looking very groggy indeed. You see Mayor Ben Avalos raising the hand of Manny Pacquiao. And we will have the official announcement from our ring announcer, Bobby Mondial. Ladies and gentlemen, the time Two minutes and 46 seconds in the fifth round, scheduled for 12. We have a knockout, winner by knockout, Manny Pacquiao, the new OPBF champion. Now you see Manny Pacquiao being raised to the jubilation of the capacity crowd here at the Mandaluyong City Sports Complex as Mayor Ben Avalos hands over the uh, championship belt and trophy to Manny Pacquiao as the new OPBF flyweight champion. And what an addition, of course, to the Philippines roster of OPBF champions. We already have champions in the featherweight division, Samuel Duran. Junior bantamweight oriental champion is Rafi Montalban. And junior featherweight champion is Reynante Hamili. Manny Pacquiao is the fourth Filipino to win an oriental championship. Here you Let's see again. that it was left. Just, it was just one blow, Ed. Yeah, yeah. that just really stunned uh, Chok Chai 3K battery. And he probably never expected it from uh, the likes of uh, Manny Pacquiao because look at that left that really bounced off the forehead of Chok Chai's 3K battery. It was a solid punch and it caught...